It's uh, just beautiful silence. You know, all the other worries and cares and stresses are, aren't there. Uh, you don't think about anything else besides um, just hunting fish. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's uh, very, very calming, you know. The silent anticipation before Nick Manchaka takes a dip into the tranquil Kamal River is something he says never gets old. Trees watch from the banks as sunlight dances over a gentle current, while below the surface, fish dart in and out of a forest of flowing algae. This is where Nick feels most at home. I always dreamed of, of working in the in the water. Um, I love being in the water. Uh, like to you know protect these environments that I'm very passionate about. Just was always looking for some sort of job to protect it and also be in the water at the same time. So um, I did an internship with the watershed protection manager for the city, and um, that was right before the habitat conservation plan started. And it's a big uh, plan that's in place to protect the endangered species in uh, the aquifer and the Comal and San Marcos Springs and river systems. And um, we, um, we won that contract for invasive fish removal, so we started doing that in 2013. Forget a fishing pole or net. It's spears that are used in these invasive fish removal efforts. Armed with the perfect combination of patience, precision, and instinct, with one strike, Nick reels in another problematic fish. So our only two targeted fish is uh, the tilapia and the armored catfish. Why are the invasive fish a problem? So they basically outcompete our native species for resources. You know, takes away from the habitat for our uh, native species and also can take away from our endangered species as well. What would our rivers look like if these invasive species were allowed to just run amok? They would just completely take over, where you really wouldn't see very many native fish at all. Um, you would just see massive schools of tilapia swimming through. Um, they would just pretty much just completely take over if, uh, if they weren't being hunted. A normal gun would just have two bands, or maybe one band right here that you pull back. Well, of course we wanted to do our part to help out, so I decided to hop in and try spear fishing for myself. This is pretty much deep enough now to, to get down and start snorkeling, you know? There's nothing quite like bobbing and weaving through the underwater foliage as the briefest glint of a fish dances by to get your blood pumping. It was so close, dude, so close. It was there, it was there. After a couple of unsuccessful attempts, I finally took a shot. Shoot it, shoot it. I nailed it. <laughs> Let's go! Hey! It's certainly not as easy as shooting fish in a barrel, but you too can try your hand at spearfishing by participating in one of Nick's San Marcos River pole spear tournaments. So uh, we started the first tournament in December of uh, 2014. And we just, just put these tournaments on to kind of get the public together and the community together to, uh, to remove as many fish as possible and uh, in a short period of time. Uh, we split the river up into three sections. There's the upper section, the middle section, and the lower section. And uh, whenever you register, you sign up for a time slot. So we um, are trying to you know, really encourage people to just spear invasives and uh, kind of take part in, in what we're doing and, uh, and help you know, protect these native species. The tournaments have grown into a tradition that's equal parts recreational and environmental. And it all culminates in two of the most treasured words in Texas, free tacos. So uh, the fish fry, uh, we do it at the end of the tournament and uh, we do the awards for everybody who's um, won different categories of awards. And um, it's basically, our way of honoring the fish that we catch by not letting them go to waste and, and eating them and, and feeding them to the community and uh, sharing it with the community. It's, it's also a good place for all the guys in the tournament to come and kind of talk and kind of create a culture of what we're doing uh, for of river stewardship and, um, and also for, you know, kind of ethical spearfishing. How are those tacos? All right, I want to thank everybody for coming to the fish fry. 
The 19th biannual Spring Pole Spear Tournament was a great success, removing 443 armored catfish and 29 tilapia, adding up to over 217 pounds. Way to go, Speed Rose! Woo! Why do you care so much about this? Well, um, just become very passionate about um, doing this and, and seeing um, the results of it, just not seeing as many schools of fish swimming around and um, just just wanting to protect our, our aquifer, you know, the endangered species within the aquifer. If they're doing well, then that's a sign like the San Marcos River is doing well, it's flowing well, it's flowing clear. It's an indication of how healthy the ecosystem is. And how long did it take you to, to catch all those? So uh, I got in the water about 3, 3.30, something like that. This morning? Yeah. Oh man. Somehow Nick Manchaka turned an invasive species problem into a fun sport that anyone can participate in. He knows they'll never be able to get rid of every problem tilapia or armored catfish, but he'll continue doing his part to keep the numbers down with each and every shot. <laughs> With how these ecosystems are, it's the goal of eradication is almost impossible without draining the river or the lake. Um, and if you do that, then it's obviously it's going to not be good for the endangered species and the other native fish. So um, the, the best that we can do is just to keep the populations down to as, as small as we possibly can. And um, if, if I can keep doing this for till I'm an old man, then you know that would be uh, that's the goal.